Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today I'm very, very excited because we get to finally play the main. This is the super battleship of the American line, specifically the Montana. And I've been waiting for this thing for a very, very long time, it feels like. I've always enjoyed the American battleships. Montana has long been one of my favorite battleships in the entire game. So to get a super version of it, I'm very, very excited. This ship has 16 guns and a 35 second reload. So you have 16 Monty guns, although our dispersion is gonna be a little bit worse uh, thanks to 1.7 Sigma instead of 1.9. So we're gonna have a little bit of a worse dispersion pattern, but at least the extra shells should be making up for it. Decent firing range. The other benefit here that this ship has is the best AA uh, out of any battleship in the game here. It's got a lot of flak, deals a lot of damage, We'll see if that does anything, but combined with this ship's special gimmick, maybe we have one ship, one battleship, that can actually stand up to carrier strikes. We'll see, maybe not in this video, but I will have to try a full AA build to see how it goes. But this is our gimmick, this is our combat instructions here. Whenever we have activated this, we're going to get 25% extra AA damage, as well as a reduction in fire and flood damage by 65%. So this is going to allow us to tank through permanent fires or floods, as well as give us an extra boost against planes when they're around. So the way we're going to activate these combat instructions or get progress towards them is through main battery hits, 6% per main battery hit. So around 17 shell hits on enemy ships is going to get us our full activation, or at least allow us to get 100% of it. Before we get 100% of it though, if we don't have that, We'll have 50 seconds before we start losing 5% per second. So essentially you need to fire two or three salvos. I guess we'll see what the dispersion looks like to actually activate this. A few interesting things is our concealment is decent here, very similar to what Montana gets at its best concealment, which is very, very nice. Our turning radius is awful, but our rudder shift is actually better than Monty's. <laughs> Uh, poor Monty. Our speed is decent as well. So we'll see how this goes. 115,000 HP, 51% torque protection. Pretty nice stuff. The build I'm going with is pretty basic here, at least to start with. Notice no plane here. So I'm um, actually taking range mod to maybe see if we snipe some carriers or something. I don't know. But uh, again, keep in mind with these American ships, if you haven't seen the battleships uh, at higher tier, this is where you get your dispersion upgrade. It's in the sixth slot. Very unique there. 11% is pretty powerful. And so that means we don't really have much to do on this third slot, so we can take range mod without too many issues. The secondaries don't have improved accuracy, so not really something worth going for. Although, you know me, I'm probably going to try that out, so you'll see a video on that at some point. Um, interestingly, we do have quite a few secondaries that can shoot forward, uh, so our secondary angles are pretty nice. Speaking of gun angles, the main guns have a 30 degree angle forward and backwards. So we're not dealing with really bad gun angles here, which is really nice to see. Uh, it'll make this ship a little more comfortable to play. Armor wise, we do have a 32 mil bow and then 38 millimeters everywhere else essentially. So it's a lot like Montana in that way. Although the stern here does have 38 millimeter plating where this is usually 32 millimeters on a Montana. So if you're kiting, this won't be as big of a weakness, um, but we do have a large citadel. So this ship does not have that waterline citadel like the Montana does. Uh, it's above water now. So this is a little bit like what old Montana used to be. Although old Monty used to have probably a bigger citadel yet than this one. So 432 millimeters on the sides as well as 457 on the bow. So you are going to get citadeled in this thing if you make mistakes and go broadside at closer range. And considering how much 32 millimeter overmatch there is at Super Battleship Steer, if you go directly bow in, you might actually get citadel as well, which is good. I want there to be citadels. I want people to be less so the overmatch side of things, but certainly when they're broadside, I think people should take a lot of damage when they're broadside. So I think that's good. Um, although hopefully we get more ships like this as time goes on. And I suppose the last thing I should mention is this heel is the upgraded one that Montana line gets. You're not getting that fast cooldown like Ohio, but you are getting the extra HP like the Monty line does. And then we have that nice American damage control that lasts for a very long time. Well, that's about it. That is this ship. It's a relatively standard looking battleship, but that's a good thing. That's kind of what the Montana line is about, and I'm very excited to try it. So let's play some games. 
Oh, I totally forgot. Um, we have this in auction. Uh, so the auction is going to end March 25th. And the minimum auction price is 100 million credits. As always, these are going to go for a lot more than that. There's only 900 available across all the servers. And considering there's only one ship in the auction, I would expect it to be a little higher than some of those earlier auctions where we had two. So getting into our first game here, it's a big ship, man. This is, this is a very big ship. Uh, so we probably will take quite a bit of damage. Although I'm expecting it to be relatively tanky still, thanks to our armor, as well as a lot of HP. Nearly 30,000 HP with this heal. That is pretty impressive, I gotta say. And nice turret angles, man. Look at these. Very nice turret angles to use. Alright, GK at range here. Oh, Schlieffen. Yeah, let's go GK first. Or maybe I should have waited for the buffalo. I have HE! Why do I have HE? All right, it's fine. We're just baiting the buffalo into staying broadside. That's what we're doing. So this ship is very similar to, let's say, oh wow, what short? To let's say Devastation, for example. Very similar Sigma, Dispersion, all that stuff. We just have the American module. So if you've played Devastation, it should be similar to that with slightly better Dispersion overall. Yeah, we can't quite reach that guy, unfortunately. No, he's angling. Feels bad. Schlieffen could be broadside here. Oh, he's turning in. Hindenburg. I want a broadside, man. I want to. I want a dev strike. Maybe I'm gonna get too greedy with this thing. We'll see. Also, Holland could easily torped at us here, so should be a little careful. He is just pushing through. All right, let's send it. He's pretty angled, but superstructure hits should do okay here. Yeah, 14k, that's decent, 15k. And he's done. All right, they have a lot of people behind this island here. Ooh, nice. Spotted on the surface. Briefly. All right, let's try there for Mr. Annapolis. Got a hit on the sub. 15K into the angle at Annapolis, not bad. Still waiting for broadsides, man, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, he's going the other way. His buffalo is stuck though, for sure, right? Oh, he's only got 10k HP. Well, we may as well finish him off. Alright, another splash on the sub. Finished him off. It's a pretty beefy heal. Direct hits, pretty nice. So 406s are certainly going to be a weak point of of playing this ship at super ships tier. Oh, 12k there is decent against an angled one. Now that won't splash. But our teammates are here to help, although this one's certainly turning into a bit of a blowout. Opportunity. An opportunity. Please don't hit the island. Nice. Okay, this is our one shot of this game. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we got one. A little sad that so much went short. Yeah, not a great first game, but don't you worry, we'll play a bunch more. Maybe we can smash this Patree or something. Superstructure hits. Oh, 
Since he's so angled, you know? Dispersion is a little wonky at times, but you just have so many shells, I guess, that it doesn't matter as much, is what we're going for here. Yeah, Superstructure does decent damage. And the detection is actually pretty good with the full conceal. It's not too bad. Turning a little more broadside. Maybe. Yeah, it's not very pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> um, yeah. Interesting. Okay. It's first game. Still got to figure it out. Perhaps it's GK we should be after. Nah, he's angled as well. And they're gonna eat a bunch of torps. <laughs> oh, that poor Hindenburg man. <laughs> Pushed into the, by the Vitri. That's really funny. Oh, are you gonna go broadside? No, he's angled. All right, let's see what we do against an angled GK. Wow, that turret number two did not look very good. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It's odd how we have more guns, but a worse reload and worse dispersion. So is it much better than a Monty gun-wise? Probably. Probably is. A tree's more broadside right now. Ah, oh, game over. Yeah, not my finest first game. That's okay. One thirty-one. It was a blowout though, so can't be too mad at that. Oh man. I mean, do I really have a choice? Do I have a choice here? I mean, we, we all know, I know exactly what every single one of you are expecting me to do. So do I deliver? I guess I have to, right? I guess I have to. Oh man. Got a lot of DDs too. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. I'm not sure if we're fast enough, but I really want to find this Heisen. Monty could be an option as well, if we feel like pushing out, but this Heisen would be a very nice target to go after here. And ideally, we don't face just a billion torpedoes through here. <laughs> no plane, a little spooky, but they don't know I'm here yet. But I can't scout for myself very easily without that plane. Even if the range isn't as useful. It's nice for scouting. Speaking of planes to scout. Alright, Heisen. You know I'm here. Ah, uh, is that broadside enough? It might be. We'll try. No, I underlet it slightly. And we got some bounces there, unfortunate. Unfortunate. We'll try again. Yeah, enemy sub is in their cap right now. Oh, wait, are you going broadside? No. Surely not. It's okay, we just want to get our buff, basically. Decent, and we got our buff. So now what we want to do is go after these guys. Schlieffen, Monty, Devastation. Devastation would be good. Although, I'm a little too broadside. This could hurt. Monty's far enough away. Schlieffen doesn't have the best guns. Devastation probably has HE loaded.
All right, we'll go there. Okay, and the fire. Devastation does indeed have HE loaded. And he's angling away. Too bad. These gun angles, though, man. Well, we're kind of dying to the secondaries a lot here. Unfortunately. Well, we're doing good damage back. Not using the buff yet. Ideally, I would hold off for... Double fire, I suppose. Perma double fire. Although then I'm using my damage control if it's a double fire. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we don't run fire prevention. I have fire prevention on right now. Do you agree for your torps or no? Seems like no. So we go here? And we do 26 into his bow. All right. There you go. There you go. All right, I will rep that. And then I'm going to back off and use our heal. We took a lot of damage there. We took a lot of damage there. Big heals, man. Look at this. Quick little 28k back. Very nice. We took a lot more than I thought, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought we wouldn't lose that much HP. It, I suppose it is Schlieffen Secondaries. Now what I'd really like to do is surprise this devastation. No, he's angled. Why are you angled? Sir, can you go broadside for me? Ship is on fire. Please. I want a broadside hit here, please. He's just gonna go bow in. Oh. Okay, double fire. There it is. We use the buff. We don't use our damage control. Interesting. That was a decent hit. I mean, yeah, we don't lose a lot of HP. I'm sad he just went bow into us. Alright, get another heal. We'll also want to take a look. Oh, he's got AP now. Alright, cool. Wait, are you going to turn broadside for me? Please, sir. That's, that's enough. Please, game. No, no Citadel. Oh man, that should have been enough for it. Too bad. One more salvo and we'll activate our combat instructions as well. Kind of nice. I mean, it tanks. It, t it can certainly tank. Not having to worry about uh, fires for a bit. That's pretty sweet. And these gun angles allow you to use them and be mostly safe. You're not entirely safe. You know, at 30 degrees, you can get citadeled. If they aim for your cheeks. Why'd they just go bow on? I mean, I guess I'm asking people to just sit broadside and die for free, which, you know, most people aren't gonna wanna do. So fair enough, I suppose. Another 8k there. The damage even into angled ships is pretty good, man. That's not bad. And another heal. 214 in that one. 
Okay, okay. Oh, and I don't get there in time anyway. That's pretty good. I mean, two brothers middle when you don't have to deal with a DD or a battle sh or a torps at all. You can do pretty well. You can do pretty well. Tanked reasonably. But I do think we want to take... We might not want to take fire prevention, actually. Because it just handles fires. You know, it's a pretty basic build that I've got here. But maybe we want... I mean... Maybe we want something like that? Get more damage... And reload? Ooh, Nevsky. Oh, it's not spotted though. Dang it, man. Alright, Hanover it is then. And over it is. That's what we'll start with. Gotta remember I want to activate my... Or get progress towards my buff. Oh, we'll just do zero. Okay. Fair enough. Unfortunate spotting over here. Looks like uh, our DD has elected to not play the game. Unlucky. Hmm. Yeah, pretty difficult without spotting. We don't even have a plane. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Unlucky. Rolled low on DDs, I guess. Finally. Alright. A little bit on Nevsky. Ooh, 10k there sucks. Good Citadel. But not a lot of progress to our buff, actually. And we're still lit here. I wonder if that's through the middle here, or if there's somebody way out on the flank here. Problem solved, sir. Torpedoes dead ahead. It's middle. Torpedoes direct front. Unfortunate. Direct front. But we dodged them at least. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. This is not a team that wants our support. At all. Time to run, man. Yikes. Yeah, that's a sad thing, too. We weren't actually able to get our buff activated, too. So I can't actually use it on these fires like I was intending. It's a good hit. So we're going to lose a lot of HP here. Yikes. See, see how just one DD makes or breaks your game? That's brutal. Our reload's kind of sick, though. K is nice there. All right, now we have our buff available to us if we need it. We have plenty of healing. A lot of the damage was just fires, so it's not that big a deal. Oh, wow, they're in B. Okay, well, that's good to know. Jotland, I guess. Fair enough. Borgon's on his way out. Good, the acceleration worked. Wow, they really have our broadside. That is bad. That is really bad. Someone got a good hit on Nevsky at least. He's using his booster.
All right, how much do we do with superstructure? 19k? That'd be nice. Oh, we actually do. <laughs> I mean, the gun slap, at least. The gun slap. That is good. Now we're charging into single launch Jutland Torps, unfortunately. Surprised I haven't eaten a Citadel to that guy, to be honest with you. 26 is pretty good there. You probably tore from here ish, if I had to guess. Maybe secondaries are the way, man. Who knows? Oh no, he's torping right now. You can see where his guns are pointed. Thank you, team. Our ship is very tanky, though. That is so nice. Like, we would have been dead in basically most battleships, I would say. Probably. What's he doing? Slowing down? Yeah, he's slowing down. Let's see. Do we get him? Only one Citadel. Too bad. Still good damage. Still good damage. Also, can we get a cheeky Citadel through here? Maybe. Oh, why did my double click go through? <laughs> Oh, we get it. And there's the Confederate. Okay. Gaming a little bit here. I mean, that's a pretty nice reload buff. 24 and a half second reload right now. Take that. Yeah, we should probably just try and help deal with this Hanover at the moment. I think that's the best bet. With our insane reload at the moment, that's probably a good use of our time. 20k to a superstructure. Oof. Just want to make sure that most of these guys can't shoot me, also. Yeah, that is a nice reload dev. Comp goes down. That's fine. I hope we do get him. Good. Now we wait and see. Alaska or Hindenburg? Alaska. And Hindenburg, potentially. I hope I get him there. Yeah! Enemy cruiser sunk. Okay, we got four. Vincent. He's got his boost up, so we need to lead a little more. That might have been under lead even. And Iowa, all right. Oh? Ah, it's a Vincent, doesn't take damage, man. That's a ship that needs a Citadel lift for sure. Opinion. Stia, I guess, we'll go after. Although those could just uh, dunk into the island. Ah, they do. Watch him sit it on me here. Nope. Okay, we get lucky. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't have the pen at this range. It's pretty far. Oh, the timing on that radar is very nice, actually.
Oh, I think I put it too high. No. Yeah, too high. Feels bad. We're also, like, we're kind of hiding right now because our HP is just so low, right? The idea right now. Ooh, Iowa broadside? Yes, please. Yeah, Kraken. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Maybe we get the Hindi? Unlikely. Although, maybe if we yoink it, yoink it. <laughs> Six. <laughs> We're farming thumbnails, although this one wouldn't take much. I could literally just put main and a blank screen and, and like just a basic screenshot and it would work. <laughs> I think a lot of people are excited about this one, but this game is, is a pretty good game, man. Three games in. I know I usually do two, but our first game was so bad. Okay, 257, six kills. That is is something we will gladly, gladly, gladly take. Three million potential damage. That's a lot. And we lived, we had a heal to spare. This one probably could use, could we make use of six heals on this thing? Hmm. Man, I got so many ideas for builds. We're gonna have to try all sorts of different things out. But that is a very, very, very nice first impression. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> okay, well, I'm very happy with this thing. That is that is the main first impressions. Um, I'm going to have a fun time with this one. So, I mean, I knew I would, right? Monty, Super Monty. Monty's one of my favorites. Interesting. You do feel the worst dispersion, but... At close range especially, it's not as big a deal. And then you get that just massive punching power of four more shells compared to a Montana. And you're certainly tankier. Your broadside's gonna be a little weaker because of that Citadel, I think. We didn't get punished too hardly for that uh, in these games, but that'll happen. Haven't tried out the AA. Uh, haven't really tried out secondaries. So be sure to, uh, well, be ready for those videos to come out. I think I'm going to play this ship quite a bit, and we're going to have a lot of content on this one. So I hope you're looking forward to that one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a great rest of your day.